Michael, for the last two decades, you have been fortunate to be able to help countless individuals and organizations achieve breakthrough results, both personally and professionally. Can you tell us some of those tips that job seekers or individuals can put into action and see the results in this year? Yeah, great question. And thank you for asking me. And by the way, thank you so much for having me on your show. It's a, a privilege and a pleasure you know, we're both in this business because we want to change lives. Yes. Uh, we don't, I don't look at this and I know you don't either, Meher. This is not about helping someone get a job. It's about helping someone change their life and their family's life. Yes. So we see this at a much deeper level than, oh, I want to get a job. This is someone's life. You spend more time at work than anything else. And yes. you're providing for yourself. And if you're married, for your family, for your kids, I mean, to some people are, are at risk of losing their home. I mean, this is so much more than just a job. This is, that's why, you know, I'm fortunate, my hair is fortunate. We get paid twice, one for our services and two, that we get to impact a life in a positive way. And yeah. that's really uh, very, very special. It's a blessing. Yes. So with, with that being said, uh, here's the greatest challenge. You're listening to this right now. And the greatest challenge you're going to have, uh, every person in the world has this challenge. Mm -hmm. And that is, you, there's, you look up online, you're going to get millions of ways to answer resume questions perfectly. Yes. I have a book, I have three ebooks, my hair has content, yes. you listen to a podcast show. There is no shortage of great answers, responses, great ways mm -hmm. to network. It's all out there. Yeah. But you know what? There's also great ways to be in shape, to eat better and to and to exercise. And there's also great ways to be a better husband and be a better wife and a better dad and a, a better mom. You see, there's no shortage of information on how we can improve and get better in our lives, personally and professionally. But there is a great shortage of taking consistent action yeah. and doing the things that we know we should do that we don't always do. Yeah. So here's my challenge to everyone listening. I'm, I'm more a peak performance coach than anything else. I help people do the things that they typically don't feel like doing that will help them achieve the things that they really want to achieve. So what does that look like? It means you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You're yeah. going to have to, this is going to mean you're going to have to go to your comfort zone. If you don't feel like doing it, it must be the right thing to do. Do one extra thing you don't feel like doing. And the transformation happens when you keep growing a little bit every day, do a little more every day. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get, 1% better every day. Yeah. That you'll be 37 times better at the end of the year. Yeah. What can I do different today to or improve in myself to get better? One step closer to the goal you have. Exactly. In fact, St. Jerome said this, good, better, best, never let it rest to your good is better and your better is best. Always try to do a little more, not a lot more, because a lot more is too much. People, that's why they give up. Do a little bit more each day. One mm -hmm. extra thing that you don't feel like doing. Celebrate the fact that you did something to push yourself. Write down your goals. Keep them visible mm -hmm. in front of you as triggers. Surround yourself with people that are encouragers, not yeah, discouragers. Yeah. People who support you, encourage you, believe in you, and hold you accountable to what you're saying you want to do. Yeah. And all those things are going to help you achieve a higher level of success. Remember, the great... Uh, Huxley said, the great end in life is not uh, knowledge, but action. Yeah. Knowledge is out there. Yeah. The action is not so much. So, uh, And no one said things. that achieving results will be easy. It's a tough way to go it, but you, it's achievable. No doubt. The road to success, the road to success is all upstairs. Yeah. It's all, you know, uh, you know, going uphill. Uh, yeah. You have to take the stairs or the elevator's broken. You got to take the stairs. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's about effort. It's about grinding. Yeah. The more calls you make, even when you don't feel like making them, if you don't feel like doing it, two lessons my dad taught me. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel like doing it, think about that self-talk in your head. If you don't feel like doing it, chances are it's the right thing to do. And the second thing he taught me was the successful person will do what the unsuccessful person won't do. They'll push themselves beyond That's their comfort zone. The great ones operate in the discomfort zone. They're comfortable being uncomfortable and they're uncomfortable being comfortable. When they push themselves, they get better. When they get better, 
they achieve greater results. And we know that everyone at the beginning of January does resolutions of this year I will be better, this year I will do more gym, things like that. And they start and they stop after a while. Why do you think that we're not consistent or we stop? Why are we not continuing it? Well, the point is statistics show University of Scranton says 8%, only 8% of people have New Year's resolutions achieve them. And here's why. There's many, many, there's two powerful forces in the world. Mm -hmm. One is the outside world, yes. all the influences in the outside world, your TV, social media, everything that's kind of grabbing for your attention yes. and telling you what you should do, what you should listen to, what you should wear, where you should go, how you should eat, all those things influencing you. Yes. Outside friends, family members, influencers, right? Yes. And then you have your inside world. And yes. the inside world are things like your beliefs. You have self-limiting beliefs, things, mm -hmm. self-esteem issues, self-image issues, confidence issues. So we have things internally that work against us and or for us and things in the ex external world that pull us away from what we should be doing. Yes. You see, the reason New Year's resolutions don't work is because everyone does them because everyone else is doing them. And it seems like the thing to do. Yeah, we like to change, but we're not really committed to change. Mm -hmm. You see, what's going to drive anyone, to answer your question specifically, to do the things that they need to do to change? And develop new habits yeah. and to break bad habits. Yes. It means that they have to be in an uncomfortable state, which no one likes to be in. Yeah. So the way to do that is by what Simon Sinek talks about and start with why yeah. is your why. Why is it important for you to change? Mm -hmm. The bigger your why, the bigger your try. Oh, wow. Remember, we're human beings. We're not human doings. Mm -hmm. We have to be more before we do more, before we have more. So you have to work on yourself and say, how do I get better so I can achieve these things? And your why is going to be your driver. So here's what I, I recommend everyone listening to this. I say, name one thing. Don't change everything. Change one thing. What do you want to improve? Write it down. Make it time bound. Put a date on it. Yeah. Okay. What are the activities you need to do every day or every week to make sure you achieve that? Okay. Then surround yourself with people and things Mm -hmm. That will be triggers to remind you, to anchor you to your commitment, and also attach a why to that. I want you to ask yourself, why is it critical? I didn't say nice to do. Why is it critical? Why go. must I change or develop this new habit or do this new thing or achieve this new goal? Mm -hmm. Why is it absolutely necessary I do this? And the more pain you attach to that if you don't do it, and the more pleasure you attach to it, if you do accomplish it, the greater and the more you keep that in front of you, that's going to push you when you don't feel like doing it. You're going to be reminded, I'm doing this because I want to provide a better life for my children than I had when I was growing up. Yeah. Keep that visual in front of you on the refrigerator, on your lamp, at your desk, all over to remind you of your why. And when you answer the why, ask yourself, well, why is that important? Why yeah. is that important? Get to the heart of it. Because the bigger your why and the more pain you attach to it, if you don't accomplish it, the more pleasure if you do, that's going to be the driving force to push you beyond your comfort zone to a place of greater success in whatever you're trying to achieve. Those are great tips, Michael. I really enjoyed it. And I hope people will implement it, starting myself, uh, to take some of those actions that you recommended and doing this year. So my goal is to lose a little bit more weight. So I'm trying to do every day small things, not to eat after nine, not to eat after eight, or go to walks or go to the gym. I know that with pandemic, things are changing, or maybe walk more or eat less. Those are the two things that I'm trying to do. I, hopefully, I can reach my goal. And again, with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed it. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Michael, thank you. And let's keep in touch. Bye, thank everyone. Bye-bye.